Hi everyone, this is Ada. Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is how not to look frumpy in your clothes. So I'm sure frumpy might mean different things to different people, but my sort of take on looking frumpy is when you're wearing clothes that are too big for you, shapeless, that don't make the best of your body. I think a lot of times people put themselves down or have a better body than they realize so or um, wearing clothes that don't suit your shape and also wearing clothes that you've had for years and years so that's what I'm going to say frumpy is and before I I've written down a few things that I think can help before I go on I just want to say we all have days where we're not feeling good and I try to be aware of you know doing these things so I can just take my style to a better level. So number one, choose colors that suit you. So choose colors that suit your complexion or you just feel happy in. Because if you feel happy in those clothes, it'll come across just in the smile of your face. Um, and as we age, we can get more of a sallow complexion. Nothing wrong with black, I wear black sometimes, but don't wear it all the time it can make you look washed out um, so just be careful on the black number two stop hiding behind baggy clothes and you know there's nothing better than sitting on the lounge with your dogs I have two dogs Belle and Poppy and sitting there with a cup of coffee in your baggy clothes but when I go out I try and look as presentable as I can so it's all right in the home but yes so just maybe you know get a few dresses that you look good in and wear those out there's nothing worse than bumping into someone in the street and you're embarrassed because you know you don't look good so number three get rid of old clothes so ones that are pilling or just uh, faded need to be repaired um, they all make you look or they all make you look frumpy really it just says you don't care about yourself, that's what it says. Um, the other thing I like to do is belt, um, if it is more baggy, belt it. Because there was a stage where oversized things were in, but what I'm going to do with some of those things in my wardrobe is I'm going to belt them. So belts are in, so get a belt. Um, wear a jacket that has more of a waist, the same as a belt, it cinches in your waist. Um, oversized jackets have been in for a while but I'm going to look for a waist that sort of goes in uh, look for where your natural waist is because everyone's waist is going to be different so that's another thing because if you get the jacket that um, cinches in your waist you're going to look a lot more put together uh, number six unbutton your shirt this is an example I'm wearing this dress but it's like a V shape so if you have buttons up you know if it was going right up there and something just don't do a few buttons up and have v-shape the other thing would be nice to do is you could layer some jewelry if that's your style number seven tuck um, so if you have a shirt got, um, that's really long because some of us do I've got a few of those um, either tuck it in or the trend at the moment is to leave one side untucked basically um, I haven't done that yet, but I've seen it and I do, do think it looks nice. Well, I'm getting used to it now. So that, um, because I think when you have more material that goes past your waist, it really does not um, give you much shape. So they're the seven things I'm going to do. I will see you next time for another video. And don't forget everyone, Ada Love Style. See you next time. Bye.